Hey, welcome back everybody. It is Gold Hunter 77 back on scene here. Same spot. We're going to be slabbing them up. I had so much fun yesterday. I figured why not? Let's do more. But today we're going to focus more on the before and after of each individual rock, agate, jasper, and take it from there. Well, all right. This is what's on the chopping block today. A little bit of everything. And I'd really love to find some iris agate that I see Theo chopping up that has those great colors to it. Theo the rock yonder. Man, he's got some great videos. Nice rocks in Montana, but I said they're not too shabby in Oregon too. Uh, there's some pretty killer stuff here as well. So once we get it chopped up, we're gonna have a better look at it. Okay, let's get the saw going. Well, I think we're gonna start with this one here, which appears to be some type of carnelian, chalcedony blend, maybe some jasper in there as well. So let's get to slabbing and see where the magic happens. Okay, so we cut that one into three pieces. And uh, man, it, it looks really cool. It really brings out all the different patterns and layers and colors. Very interesting. A lot going on here. Awesome. And the next one, Let's try, man, it's hard to pick just one. They all look so good. Oh, that's one I was cutting yesterday. We'll save that for later. Uh, let's try some of this green one, huh? All right, let's go. Glasses and a mask are a great idea. Take my word for it. This one cut quick and easy. I'm not sure why. It looked like an extremely hard Jasper. But you just never know until you start cutting. You gotta love these ones. Okay, and here is this one slabbed up. Now for the life of me, I could not get a straight cut. Part of it was the size of this rock. The bigger they are, it's, it's hard to line up the, the cut lines when you're turning and twisting. But I'm getting a Dremel tool or something similar soon, so I'll get these buffed down, but yeah some nice purple and greens and looks like some polka dots in there too so i don't know if that's technically like a polka dot agate or what let me know in the comments all right let's move on to our next one i've been eyeballing this thing because it looks like a big crazy carnelian and i just can't wait to pull some slabs on it orange and red all right let's have a look Everything seemed to be going fine with this large agate at first, but as you can see, it's easily twice the size of the blade, 
Then I went too deep, and I binded the blade. It could have been worse. Overall, I got it out and cut it. Okay, got this one slabbed up a little bit. Man, would you look at that. That's amazing. That's still pretty thick too. I, I think I'm gonna try for another slab right in there somewhere. And these are just some nice cut ends with some type of ghost banding right there. The interesting part is a lot of these rocks and stones, whatever I think they are, they'll look totally orange or red from the outside and then you go to cut them and most of them just happen to be clear on the inside with uh, colorful accents around the edges. Uh, still really cool though. So yeah, I'm gonna go for one more slab on this. I might cut it the other way right here. Now I might be cutting these all the wrong way, but really I don't care because I have thousands of rocks. So for me, it's just good practice. Also real quick, I wanted to point out another safety tip since you are working with power and water. Uh, it's highly suggested that you have a drip loop like I do to where the water's running down and dripping off here and it's not going to hit here so uh just an extra thing to to be cautious of unless you want to get a little buzz <laughs> might be a shocking experience all right well here's the rest of it cut up man what's some beautiful cutters too these are awesome loving that color and the banding now I have like four or five pieces of this rock cut up. That one needs to be touched up, but I'm just really loving the color change from the clear banding to the orange accents. It's, uh, man, this is awesome. All right, let's pick our next one. I'm interested in this. I'm interested in this one right here. So let's take a slab off of her. Okay, and here she is. Again, a really nice one. A lot of pattern going on there. Not as much as the other one, but you know, they're all unique in their own way. I mean, every one of these is something to hang on to. On to our next victim here. That one looks interesting. And some of these are rather large, but that looks like it has black and blue and orange and red. Even that whole top looks pink or orange. So let's uh, let's cut into it and see what's on the inside. And I'm betting it's more clear like the others. There it is, cut into thirds. Let's have what it looks to do. Wow. Look at that pattern. Still got the orange banding on the outside. I figured she'd be clear. 
However, towards the middle, the color picks back up again. Look at that. Man, that is just radical. Wow, look at that. Woo! That's my best cutter of the day right there. That too, look at that, that deep red. Beautiful carnelian. Color carried all the way through, man. Just stunning pieces here. Awesome. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which one's going on the tile saw? That looks interesting. A lot of color on the outside. Do you think it carries through? Let's find out. Okay, here's the next one. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness. Wow, that pattern and that color, amazing. Yeah, that color definitely traveled through. Wow. Look at the patterns on that and just the color. That is killer stuff right there. All three pieces. Man, these are nice. These are going to make really nice gifts for friends and family or whatever. I'm so glad I bought this saw. I'm telling you, if you're on the fence about buying a little tile saw for cutting agates, they, they work great, especially once you get used to them. That's, that's just rad. Okay, well, we've cut a lot of rocks. A lot of nice agates, carnelian. Um, I don't know if we did Jasper yet, maybe a little bit. But what I wanted to say real quick is be patient with the saw. Um, sometimes it takes time and you have to remember some of these rocks are harder than the others. So, but usually it doesn't take me longer than a minute, maybe two minutes on a bigger one to get through it. Don't start pressing harder. Just use that light to medium pressure. Let the, let the saw do the work. And you'll see that it'll go through. When you get towards the end of your cut, push it all the way through. Don't just stop at the end because it could kick back on you and send a rock your way. Okay, well, this day's come to an end. Uh, pretty similar to yesterday. You know, I had to work on the burn pile a little bit, and we still got to slab a lot of rocks. That was fun. A lot of interesting patterns, colors, and I'm definitely learning still, even though I've done some cutting in the past. Um, I just want to pick up more tips and tricks and get more tools. But yeah, yeah, it was fun to slab up some more, something a little bit different you know, keep me on my toes. And it's funny because it's similar to rock hounding as in you never know what you're going to find, right? So that's the fun part about that. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching and get ready for rock show part two slab edition.